hey babes welcome back to my channel i know i know i know i know just hold on today's video is actually in collaboration with ebony line i'm bringing you their dalva pre loops deep wave hair in the length 18 of course there will be a link in the description box but first things first let's go ahead and just prep out my hair pause if you guys are new here welcome now's a good time to go ahead and subscribe <laughs> what i'm going to be using is the miel um, almond oil to go ahead and moisturize my hair and then they have this really nice hawaiian coconut leave-in uh, conditioner which i absolutely love just to go ahead and quickly detangle my hair i did go ahead and pre-stretch it i washed it conditioned it put it in these four little chunky braids and allowed it to dry so i actually have a video on that if you want to see it if you need that detailed breakdown where i do a few more uh kind of braids just to kind of stretch out my hair but that's neither here nor there um now is a good time to actually go ahead and turn on your post notifications that way now that you're subscribed you no longer miss another video and make sure to check out my instagram because of course I am alive and in action there as well so go ahead and make sure to do that um, so far so good if you guys missed it I did actually do a pretty nice trim on my hair um, I believe I posted that video about two weeks ago so go ahead and check that out when you have a quick bit you guys know I was kind of undecided with what I wanted to do with my hair did I want to keep it that one length did I kind of want to add some layers to it so now my hair is officially all one length I'm super happy with it still haven't done a twist out out. let me know if that's something you guys want to see because I have not done that since I've done this big chop at all but y'all I'm in love look at my fro like oh yes I cannot wait till it's like twice the size you're not gonna be able to tell me nothing so today we're gonna be doing a half up half down look of course super duper easy gonna go ahead and literally just part my hair across if you are new to this it's okay your part does not have to be perfect and I'm gonna tell you why well, now I'm gonna tell you why <laughs> because of course with the Dalva hair it is crocheted so I'm literally just gonna be adding all the hair in everything will be covered your part more than likely you won't even see it aside from like on the side so it's not like you know you're gonna be exposed or anything so if you need a little help with the part you can get it but to be honest do the best that you can you guys know I always try to do beginner friendly type of hairstyles for you at home that way you're not having to spend all this money at the salon because I know how that can be um, and so yeah I'm just sectioning off my hair and then for the back of this I know you guys are like oh, crazy what am I gonna do so you have two choices I'm actually gonna go ahead and just part this directly down the middle I'm gonna do two cornrows straight to the back if you cannot cornrow that is okay you can literally put your hair in two small ponytails as close to the nape of your neck as possible and yeah they're pretty much be hidden you won't actually see them at all because again we're gonna just be crocheting the hair on top this is a deep wave hair so it's gonna sit kind of big voluptuous so you won't have to worry about it at all um, but on the other note if you don't feel comfortable with that and you actually know how to do a little quick corn row or flat twist go ahead and do that you guys this style for me I would say probably about a week's worth just for the sake of like having to do the ponytail thing and want to refresh that for me I like my hairstyles to look really really fresh and clean I don't really care for it to look kind of old and then you have my texture with the hair texture with the weave texture like yeah so I like for my hair to look really fresh so I would say about a week um you know of just kind of keeping your hair tied down you can definitely get away with that and then I do have a little bit of edge control just to kind of hold everything together so it's not super frizzy in the back but boom voila I don't even have a perfect part I'm just literally putting that down to the side and then I did pin it up I think I forgot to include that clip but I did pin it up using some bobby pins crisscross them and we are in the game so for edge control, I'm actually using the Ebon Edge Control. I actually have a collaboration with them coming up really, really soon. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, and so yeah, I'm just using this to smooth my hair all over, you guys. If you have a texture like me, or kinkier, or not as kinky, this actually is going to work perfect for you. It works for me just simply because edge control, I really need something that's going to grip my hair, not make it super wet and messy. I just need it to really hold it into place. And this does a really, really great job of that. Um, and so of course taking my brush and just smoothing everything down y'all I'm so happy with my hair y'all don't understand it's so healthy so so healthy right now so proud of that if you guys are wondering the dress that I'm wearing I think I got this from we well, can't tell it's a dress but it is a dress I think that I got this from either pretty little thing 
I think it was Pretty Little Thing. I'm quite sure. Or misguided, either or. But anyway, yeah, so you see my little puff. Go ahead and put your hair in a ponytail. I ended up having to do the reponies. Well, do the ponytail twice because it was kind of sitting on my head a little funny. But um, yeah, so I didn't include that clip. But for now, this is where we are. I did go ahead and just braid it down in this clip, but you'll see once we flash forward. It's going to be more of like a frizzy type of ponytail. You know, you'll see. And for baby hair, of course, you guys style this however you want. If you're not a fan of the baby hair, skip this part. If you are, you can just take a look and see how it is that I style mine. Um, kind of kinky, you know situation and as you guys can see like this edge control is really holding everything down now one tip that I do uh, use is once I have my baby hairs completely styled with like the edge control I do go over it with like a really tight holding gel and usually that helps to lock everything into place and it will sit and stay in that area pretty much the whole night so I don't have to worry about it I'm saying the night I guess it could be the day but today for this video I was going out but Again, this is crochet, so I already have that pre-loop crochet needle. Um, they did not provide me one, but of course I already had one. You guys can find that at your local beauty supply store, Amazon. They're really inexpensive, 2 or $3. You'll have it forever. Um, and so, yeah, if you haven't seen me crochet already, what have you been doing, okay? We're literally just sliding the needle through. We're going to go ahead and loop the, um, the end of the hair through the crochet needle, close it, and pull it through. If you need a more detailed uh, video, let me know because I don't have any like step by step how to crochet I do have a how to crochet video on like twists and passion twists and things like that but if you just need to actually learn the step let me know in the comment section so that I can actually just create that for you so that you really get uh, you know an idea of what it is you should be doing and you guys this hairstyle literally took me one hour to go ahead and get everything laid out you guys can see I'm literally just putting these anywhere the takedown process would be extremely easy you literally just cut the hair out and you're good first things first I want to say this hair was extremely soft it is a more so like a human blend type of hair but you would treat it the same way you would um, with human hair so you're still able to wash it shampoo condition um, you can apply, apply a little bit of mousse a little leave-in conditioner just to refresh the curls I had this hairstyle in like I said for exactly one week and when it got a little bit of frizzy y'all all that I did was take a little bit of water some leave-in conditioner run it through the hair and it was back in action it's super soft it did not have a smell at all and it's made me nervous because I've never used like any type of blend hair but y'all let me know like if because I'm just getting to the point of telling y'all this is not even human hair so let me know if that's something you figured out or you guess like on your own because for me this looks a uh, freaking amazing I wish I knew all the things that I know now about hairstyles and just things like that for like high school like I don't, I feel like I was looking busted you know what I'm saying like I could have been real cute okay but anyway <laughs> so once you get up towards the ponytail area you're literally going to crochet on that as well and then we're pretty much going to do like a little loop around but for now we wanted to go ahead and just kind of check and see if we had any gaps to be honest this gap didn't really matter much because the ponytail would have covered it but I did go ahead and fill it in as much as possible as close to that like parted space that I had and then I went ahead and started adding the crochet pieces to my ponytail and don't worry you won't see them you're gonna do so many crochet pieces on this ponytail Detail, that it all just kind of blends together and then eventually I'll do kind of like a loops braid around everything and then of course that'll be that so this video was super duper fun to make just because the hairstyle was so quick and easy and the crazy part is I literally only had two hours to get fully dressed to go to a comedy club that night so it's just kind of like oh Lord, I was I was nervous. I didn't know how long this was going to take. So really nice protective style. You guys got to see everything from start to finish. Let me know what you think about it so far. Um, like I said, I wore the style for a good week and I was pretty much happy with it. The color that I'm using is a 1B. It actually looks closer to like a 1. So if that's something that you're kind of like, mm, my hair is pretty dark, you can actually get away with the 1B. Um, I have not seen their like 2 or anything like that. And I actually received five packs of hair y'all I only used two two packs of hair to get this style so I'm not sure on the pricing I'll have to look that up for you but like I said I'll have two different links you can either buy it on Amazon or on uh, Ebony line and if I do have any discount codes or anything like that I will post that for you as well and this is the part that I was talking about where I just kind of literally wrapped it around 
you know create that little braid so that I can kind of hide the base of my ponytail and y'all we are in the game look at this it looks so cute and you guys have seen me do the half up half down like tracks before but this was no different same amount of time to do the hairstyle literally taking a while to comb just to go through the hair and kind of get a little frizzy just a little bit just so it looks a little bit more natural and not so like uniformed y'all yeah i was in love it was super soft you guys see how it's going through the comb with no problems the curls are staying in place we are definitely onto something with this one so i'm gonna give this a definitely a 10 out of freaking 10 i'll definitely be purchasing this hair on my own to actually try like some other styles just because i really loved what it looked like like look at this super soft super bouncy and again i got an 18 inch 1b and yeah just like that from this nice pretty 80s afro to a nice half up half down <laughs> i love you guys so much stay pretty and i will see you next time bye babes